Arizona and digital technology, these two are going hand in hand more and more often. And get this, a major announcement this morning is now putting Arizona's name right at the top for digital technology. The third Chips for America research and development facility will be right here in the valley. I swear, it's all that snow. They're like, oh, we got to go to Arizona. Yeah, 12 News journalist Justin Pazera live at the ASU Research Park in Tempe, where the new facility will be located. It's pretty interesting, Justin, that Phoenix is the place for these facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is the place. You're talking about snow. There is actually one of these facilities in upstate New York. So, you know, they probably did want some Arizona sun here. Uh, but there is actually a, a really... I guess a, a selection process. A lot of folks were looking at what state would be the best to suit these facilities. And it does turn out that Arizona is the best state for one of these facilities. So both the Biden administration and ASU are really uh, touting this new facility as one that will bridge the gap between laboratory research and full scale semiconductor production. This morning, Senator Mark Kelly released a statement supporting this new facility. And he says that this means researchers and startups are not going to have to go to China or Europe to test their micro chips they can do that right here in America actually right here at ASU and Tempe so ASU is really going to play an intricate part of this as well uh, the school has the largest engineering school in the country more than 33,000 students are registered there there's 600 faculty members as well so they're going to be able to support this new facility with research and then of course they have these state-of-the-art labs that they can support it as well so ASU says that this is also going to translate into a lot of jobs billions of dollars in investment it's just going to take some time to get this up and running. It is expected to be fully functioning the fourth quarter of 2028. We're live in Tempe this morning. Justin Pazera, 12 News, Today in AZ. All right, so we got some time before things really get going out there, but really cool to see it's going to happen here. Justin, thank you.